Hi, I'm Dr. C.P. Adhav, Scientist B at ICMR National Institute of Malaria Research, New Delhi. I have 32 research articles as an author or co-author with more than 160 citations. Out of these, three have been published in the journal Lancet Global Health. Seven of these have been, publi have been published in a journal with impact factor 3 and 12 of these have been published in an impact factor with, a, with more than 2. My article is 8 and I10 index is 6. I have 3 year teaching experience and 8 years of research experience. During the past 8 years of my research experience, I worked in many disciplines of medical research such as biostatistics, epidemiology, neonatology, pediatrics, dermatology, ophthalmology, oncology, human nutrition, community medicine, gynecology and vector borne diseases. At present, I am primarily involved in malaria research only. I take care biostatistical and epidemiological aspects of malaria research. I did my master and MPhil in statistics from CC University Merit in the year 2006 and 7 respectively. In the year 2008, I joined Vivekanand Institute of Technology and Science, Gajabad as a lecturer where I was involved in the teaching of management and engineering student. I worked here for three years. After that, in 2011, I joined ICMR Advanced Center for Newborn Research, Department of Pediatrics, All Indian Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi as a research officer biostatistics. Here, I was involved in a various project which was running that time. Being a biostatistician, I was involved in the planning to the dissemination of research output. Under the umbrella of uh, ICMR Advanced Center, we publish many research articles in the reputed international journal. Here are two key studies that I would like to discuss. The first study from the Advanced Center, which was published in the journal The Lancet Global Health, is a landmark study in the field of neonatal sepsis, having more than 50 citations in just two years. In this study, we documented high magnitude of sepsis and antimicrobial resistance burden, which laid down the foundation for advanced research, launching national program with international interest. A second research article from this platform had also been published in the journal The Lancet Global Health, which revealed the appropriate timing of starting the complement. During my tenure at AIMS, I also qualified the AIMS entrance exam for PhD and in the year 2013, I joined Department of Biostatistics as a PhD scholar. My thesis title was Comparison of a Statistical Model for Recurrent Exacerbation and Long-Term Control of Asthma in Children in Northern India. Here, our primary objective was to, was to find out the most appropriate model for the analysis of recurrent exacerbation data. To accomplish it, six extended Cox proportional hazard model were compared using mathematical and graphical criteria and controversy regarding the most appropriate model was resolved. In December 2016, I joined ICMA National Institute of Malaria Research as a scientist B biostatistics. It has been three years to me working in the NMR. During the last three years, I involved in several research projects and we published many research articles. We estimated the zero prevalence of dengue in India in order to take decision about the introduction of dengue. It was a collaborative, collaborative project uh, of different ICMR ensued and the study finding was published in the journal The Lancet Global Health. In another study, we studied the spatio-temporal distribution of PFMDR1 polymorphism among um, uncomplicated malaria cases. A study finding was published in Infection, Genetics and Evolution Journal. Then we studied the antibody response with two leading plasmodium vivax vaccine candidate antigen. This study finding is, is in Malaria Journal now. 
Recently, we have completed two study on the estimation of asymptomatic malaria. Study findings have been communicated. First one is under review in Malaria Journal and other one is under review in uh, Transaction of Royal Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene. There is one more study where we studied the delayed hemolysis, hemolysis after the treatment with intravenous artisunate in the patient with severe malaria. The manuscript is under review in Malaria Journal. Presently, I am working on malaria forecasting technique where I am trying to find out the most appropriate statistical model for malaria forecasting as per the species type and the endemicity of that region. In our second project, we are estimating the economic loss due to the chikungunya and dengue in two districts of Gujarat. In the third study, we are trying to find out the role of travel to the high endemic area in the transmission of malaria in Rajnagar, Dwarka, Delhi. The fourth one is a CAP study where we are assessing the methanist knowledge, attitude, practice about the malaria so that distribution of primacune can be done from their hand only. And there is one more study where we are assessing the association of various factors with malaria in the pregnant woman. In the last two years, I reviewed eight research articles for the three journals as Transition of Royal Society of Topical Medicine and Hygiene, Journal of Vector Borne Diseases, and Indian Journal of Child Health. Recently, I have been invited as a resource person for two days training program for medical faculty and student under the aegis of Dr. Padam Singh Research and Development Scheme at Rajendra Prasad Government Medical College Kangra, Himachal Pradesh and the Christian Medical College Ludhiana, Punjab. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you.